Again, uh, I'm Harold Prater, the Associate Executive Director of the Bowl Game. I'll be moderating uh, the, the call tonight. Uh, and with that, uh, we're going to turn things over to Steve Earhart, Executive Director of the AutoZone Liberty Bowl, with some uh, bowl formalities here. Yeah. Yeah, we want to go through the formal process here. We've certainly been working all afternoon, and in fact, we've been watching the Jayhawks all year long with their great progress in the football program, but it's... Uh, I'm very proud and honored to be able to, uh, you know, extend the official formal invitation to the Kansas Jayhawks, to Travis and Coach, to uh, uh, participate in the 64th edition of the AutoZone Liberty Bowl, the seventh oldest bowl game in America. It's a great tradition and history here. We have some great events lined up for the Jayhawks. So with this, I'd like to officially invite you to uh, participate in the 64th annual AutoZone Liberty Bowl. Thank you, Steve. We appreciate that and couldn't be more excited to be part of such a rich tradition with the AutoZone Liberty Bowl and obviously bring this group and this great fan base to Memphis. Everybody's so excited in, in Lawrence and in the, in the state across the country. Right. Thank you. I'll like yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to quickly. I'm in. I we just landed in Missouri, so I apologize for any delays here. We're out recruiting, but uh, to have the opportunity to play in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl, uh, my phone has blown up, uh, gentlemen, uh, since this from you know not just fans and supporters, but uh, coaches around the country and former coaches that have had the opportunity to be a part of your bowl game, and everyone says what a great experience it's been for them and, and for the players. So uh, once again, we're, we're just elated to be there. Well, we appreciate you both. And with that, we're going to open it up for questions. And just to uh, stress to uh, media members tonight, the only questions we're going to be uh, taking and the only topics we're going to be addressing tonight are the two football teams and the AutoZone Liberty Bowl. Any other uh, issues, we'll let you take that up with uh, the schools and their uh, media folks at a later time. So, again, we appreciate you joining the call tonight. And with that, we'll open it up for questions. Please I, please identify yourself and your media outlet, please. Any questions? Uh, yes, this is Tom Murphy, the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Coach Leopold, um, if you could just maybe – Describe how the season's been. Um, I, I, I'm an AP voter, and I know I was voting for you guys through five weeks. Um, and then just kind of the, the trajectory of your year, maybe. Well, uh, uh, first of all, I appreciate you jumping on and the question. Um, you know, we got off to a fast start, the fastest start we've had here in a long time. Uh, really proud of the way we got off, especially two road wins where we fell behind, battled back to get road victories against two good opponents in West Virginia. In Houston, uh, um, able to get a couple more home wins against a, a you know another bowl team in Duke, Iowa State, and then uh, fortunate to have College Game Day come to Lawrence, Kansas for the first time, and and battled what we see now to be a, a CFP playoff team. Um, fortunately, in that game, our our starting quarterback and and really someone who's getting into the Heisman race, Jalen Daniels, went down. Um, we had a couple other injuries. Uh, Daniel Hyshaw was a highly productive running back, lost him the week earlier and, and kind of hit a bump there. And, uh, you know, we, we, we had a battle back. Jason being our backup quarterback played extremely well. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we kind of hit, hit, hit a part patch of the season where, where things were a little rough, but we were able to defeat an Oklahoma, a rated Oklahoma State team at home to secure bowl eligibility. And, uh, you know, and here we are. So, um, I think as we prepare for this bowl game, I think we'll be probably the healthiest we've been um, since probably that that uh, early October period, and uh, we're excited to uh, you know again to, to take on a quality opponent in Arkansas Razorbacks. Coach, your, your rise up this year may be somewhat similar to what Arkansas did last year from you know being down for a while. I wonder uh, being in the region. What you thought of what Sam Pittman did last year, and just what you make of their team? Yeah, you know, um, 
for our first year a year ago, but looking at the job that he did, I don't know Coach Pittman very well, but I've met him. I know a lot of people that do, and, and he's highly respected. He was always a highly respected uh, line coach and professional in, in college football. He's done an outstanding job and has really turned that program around. And, and again, I, I think he does things the right way. They're well coached. And, uh, again, like you said, I, I hope there are some, some good parallels there between what they did a year ago and what we were able to do this year. Yeah, Matt Tate from the Lawrence Journal World. Uh, Lance, I, I wonder, when you looked at, at, at your players today and, and this thing became official, uh, what did you see in their faces? What did you, what'd you, uh, what you experience emotionally and, and, and the excitement level uh, given what you've been able to do so quickly here? Um, you know, I, I saw you know a lot of smiles and cheers. I've seen the, the look of some seniors and upperclassmen who, who really probably had doubts that something like this was ever going to happen in their career. I saw a lot of pride and excitement. Um, we've been talking about it for, you know, ever since we clinched bowl eligibility about the opportunity to be together for an extra month, the, the importance of the development. But, um, you know, the, the official sign of an accomplishment of a huge step for a program that has struggled for, for a dozen years and uh, ex- extremely proud of them. I'm extremely proud of the job our coaching staff has done, the assistant coaches and 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 getting this done uh, as quickly as it has, and uh, again, uh, all of that gets uh, gets to be put on display in Memphis, Tennessee uh, later this month. Yeah, when we talked to Travis earlier, he he kind of described it as, as surreal. You know, he said he's not surprised because of the character of your kids, but but still, getting to this point this quickly was was a little surreal. Uh, how do you describe it? I know when you met with your team, the first thing you told them is, you know, we will win here, I promise, and, and that's been well documented. But did you think it could happen to this level this fast? Um, you know, I try not to put parameters and, and, and you know, ceilings on things, but uh, to see us get off to the start we did was definitely probably surprising and and. Yet at the same time, when we looked at the schedule, we in the way we ended the, a year ago, we thought we were on the right trajectory that we could, we, we if we could find a way to get a win in West Virginia, um, you know, who knows what kind of confidence this team could could start um, really building upon. So, um, but yeah, I, I think if you, if you really held it up to me, I, I would say I, I didn't know if we could, you know, make the, the jump from two wins to six. Uh, maybe immediately, but uh, as I said, I, I'll never bet against this group and uh, and the coaches that work with them daily. So um, again, uh, it's surreal. Uh, I'll probably it's just kind of been uh, you know we we've, we've got so many things going right now. It's it's just kind of exciting, and I, I hope this becomes the norm for this program. By the time I landed where we're at right now. Uh, ready had Kenny Logan texting me about how excited and, and you know that we're going to be ready and ready to go and it's excited to see these players that really haven't had a lot to do here in the last week are ready to jump and get back after it. This is Jordan Gusky. Lance, I'm just curious how does it feel to be celebrating this fresh off of the contract you mm-hmm. for yourself as well? Um, one more time, Jordan, please. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're good, Lance. I, I was just curious, how does it feel to be celebrating a day like this also, just, you know, fresh off your own contract extension, having that, you know, finished and ironed out as well? Well, you know, um, anything about the contract just goes back into the fact of, uh, of continuity and stability for this program, our staff, our, our, our players, our future players, um, things that we're going to be doing within facilities, I just think it's another uh, another nice building block of what this this program will be built upon, and we'll kind of hopefully look back at this someday, talking about uh, how the how the dominoes kind of you know came in together on this to to make this the program um, that we want it to be, not just a one time or every so often, but a consistent winner for many years to come. 
coach Daniel Shi, Arkansas Traveler. Um, what is kind of the potential of a win do for you moving forward, even building into next season and having this opportunity to play in the bowl game? That's an excellent question. I appreciate you jumping on. And uh, obviously, I think anybody can end your season with uh, with a win and playing well um, helps the momentum. Um, as you head into the second semester, winter conditioning, spring ball, um, uh, you know, helps you in recruiting, um, again, with the extra exposure. And, I, and again, for, for us to play a quality opponent or a team from the SEC, I think is also a, another feather in our cap, so to speak, that, that we can continue to gain confidence as we, uh, as we continue to build our program, like I said earlier. So there's a lot of things that, uh, you know, that are needed and, and, and we're going to need to play well and prepare well to, to go to go to Memphis and, and play Arkansas, but uh, there could be a lot of positives that come out of it. Hey, Lance, hey, Lance. 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 Um, between the, the case state game and now, I guess, what were you guys able to get accomplished while you were back home? Well, we got a lot. You know, right now we, you know, um, as I kind of alluded to, shortly after the announcement, um, the coaches quickly were packing, uh, packing up their backpacks and their laptops, and making sure what was already on the, you know, that we could access film. But uh, you know, we're in homes tonight and all over the country until till Thursday. Um, the players will be with uh, Matt Gildersleeve and his staff, um, you know, lifting and conditioning for the first half of the week. And then we'll hit the practice field uh, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and start working back the players that didn't practice last week into it, slowly start building in a routine and a game plan. We've had some mock calendars put together on how we want to do this. We'll solidify those here as I as I travel around and, and as we get ready to get into full preparation in you know, a little bit later before we get on the plane to Memphis. And to follow up real quick, will you be able to get all 15 practices in before the bowl game? Well, there's not a limit anymore. I think sometimes that used to be a, 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 a number about how many you get. So um, I've encountered, but we're going to, we, we feel very comfortable with the amount of practices that we have. It's not as about as many. It's about the work that we want to get certain individuals, but make sure that the first unit, second, the guys have been playing are rested, healthy, but prepared, and, and we can stay as sharp as we can with this layoff. That's always a, a balance, but um, um, we want to make sure that we maximize every opportunity that we have within the, the schedule allowed, yes. We have time for one more question for Kansas. Anyone with one more question for the Jayhawks? Yeah, Coach, yeah Lance. Your, oh, you can go ahead. If you're, I'm, you're fine. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, Lance, John Kirby here. I was just wanting to know, going to the Liberty Bowl, you know, how do you sell that and, and progress with recruits and use as a selling report, selling point? Well, again, I, I think, that, you know, John, it's, a, a, again, a huge a huge step in the right direction to be full eligible. But I think it's even a larger step to be in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl and the fact that, uh, you know, the, the bowl people wanted the University of Kansas. And that says a lot about where we're going as a program, about our fan base, about where we want to be, and to have an opportunity to play in a game of this stature um, it, it really says a lot, and it, and it will be able to make sure that we know it. And and again, you know, uh, to play to play a member of the SEC is going to be something else that that'll be nice for us to, to talk about and and doing those things. So there's a lot of great things that we'll be, we'll be able to support us, and, and hopefully after a, a great performance. Thank you, Travis. Thank you. If